Hello football fans around the world, welcome once again, kindly like, share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more news updates. Robbie must owe slams Manchester United boss, Eric Ten Hag's tactics in first half drubbing by Man City. Following first half destruction of their rivals, Robbie must owe had some strong words for the manager, as he accused the Dutchman of getting his tactics wrong and said the team had been embarrassed. City raced out to a 4-0 half-time let behind two goals each from Phil Foden and Erling Haaland, whom both finished with a hat-trick, as United carved up all over the field en route to a 6-3 loss. Anthony pulled a goal back for United in the 56th minute with a stunning left-footed strike before Anthony Marshall scored a brace off the bench but it didn't change the outcome of the match after a poor showing from the Red Devils in the first half. Eric Ten Hag's side was carved apart in the first half at the Etihad Stadium. They've been embarrassed. And the main reason I said that Rebecca, about the lineup, is midfield players. The back four has been stretched like crazy, but when you've got midfield players that want to just attack and don't want to defend and protect the back four, Kevin De Bruyne is running free, running wild, and destroying the team, as all the forwards are for City. Ten Hag started the match with Christian Eriksen and Scott McTominay in central midfield with Bruno Fernandes ahead, as a relentless City piled pressure on United. De Bruyne assisted Holland for two goals in the first half, as Jack Grealish ran rampant on the left wing as well, causing problems for Anthony and Diogo Dalot. The right back picked up a yellow card in just the second minute. Six minutes later, City went ahead via a deft Foden finish. This is a reappearance of the United from the first two games, Masto's colleague Robbie Eros said. All that hard work has been undone, all that points they've got, it's gone in 45 minutes. This looks like the bad old Manchester United days again, which will have shocked Ten Hag at half-time. He's got work to do in the dressing room to at least stop the rot and make sure they don't concede too many goals, but the players have to take responsibility as well. They've let them down today, 